next chapter as a poverty poverty as a challenge <clears throat> poverty as a challenge for our country challenge for our country poverty is a situation in which a person unable to complete their basic necessities when a person unable to complete their basic necessities basic necessities like food shelter food shelter and clothing that person is considered as a that person consider as a living under poverty poverty it is a state it is a situation of a economy in which a person individuals living in a country unable to complete their basic necessities like food shelter and clothing is known as a poverty when a larger section of a population larger section of population unable to complete complete their basic necessities it is known as a mass poverty mass poverty at the time of independence of our country a large section of a population near about 57 percentage of a total number of a people they were living under the poverty these were those which were as the came from eastern and western pakistan towards india and not having as a adequate source of the in income that's why they living under as the poverty in our country they living at that time in poverty at the time of independence after completion of 70 years of Indi indian independence still as a 27 to the 29 percent people are still living under poverty 29 percent people are those which are economically backward economically backward such kind of a population is still as living under the poverty when we are talking about the till 2021 it means as a as per according to the 2011 census 121 crores of india's population it will be as a cross the limit of a 130 crores means the present population it will be as a near about a 130 crores it's 29 percent near about a near about a, about 30 to 35 crores of a population is still that kind of population which is unable to complete their basic needs that kind of population which is unable to complete their basic necessities in relation to poverty in relation to poverty there are the two methodologies are there through which we can estimate poverty trends in a country one as a expenditure method second as a income method expenditure and income method clear but before of the estimation of a poverty we have to know about what are the forms of a poverty which are generally present in a economy there are two types of the two types of a poverty one as a relative poverty relative poverty relative poverty second as absolute poverty absolute poverty absolute poverty these are the two types of poverty relative poverty relative poverty refers to relative poverty refers to relative poverty refers to a state of economic conditions the type of economic conditions prevailing in different countries prevailing in different countries prevailing in different countries or regions different countries or regions different countries or regions in relation to per capita income and national income in relation to per capita income and national income 
national income national income national income per capita income is a average income average income earned by every individuals average income earned by the individuals is a per capita income world bank use as a criteria of a per capita income on a basis of a per capita income okay these thing has discussed absolute poverty also discuss absolute poverty so per capita income world bank world bank that authority that agency which is responsible for the releasing as a funds to those economies which has needed the money which needs as a increasing the pace of a development for such economies world bank giving as the money so world bank categorizes the world economies basis of a per capita income it uses as a criteria and distinguish that of which country has a more developed and which is as a lesser so world on a basis of a per capita income world bank world bank mark the three types of a countries first developed countries developed countries developed countries second first developed countries second developing countries which are now as a improving developing countries third as a under developed nations under developed countries under developed countries so these three types of countries you categorize by the world bank on behalf of a per capita income on behalf of per capita income those countries which are having the annual per capita income as 4,35,500 are the developed nations these are the such economies which are having as a 4,35,500 as annual per capita income per capita income these are developed economies in such economies unemployment is not existing poverty is totally eradicated by the government through their efforts economic economic development is a more economic development is a more country is a self sufficient to complete their all the needs such countries are capable to complete their all needs and solve problems for example united states of america canada australia russia japan these are such number of countries which are capable to solve their needs clear developed nations its criteria based upon a per capita income only second as a developing nations such economies which are now as presently as improving which are now as eradicating their problems unemployment is still existing as such economies but due to as a due to the efforts of a government due to the efforts of government employment at some of the extent it eradicate not as a totality same as the poverty is also existing a smaller population also living under as a poverty clear so these are the developing economies like as a like as nepal sri lanka are neighboring countries neighboring countries neighboring country here i am talking about the two types of the poverty relative poverty absolute poverty relative poverty is a that kind of a poverty in which we distinguish in between of a economies we study about the economies in relation to the per capita income and national income in relation to per capita income and national income i am using is here the was per capita income on such behalf the world bank divided the these three types of economies developing economies done third are the under developed economies under developed those economies which are still as a dependent on others still dependent on others for their economic growth these are the under developed nations like as a pakistan as according to world bank india is lies under the under developed the reason is that because india's per capita income is a 27000 annually average income of individual as 27000 27000 annually this is as a reason of a low per capita income in our country the reason behind the low per capita income in our country as a 
high growth of population high growth of population as per the increasing population employment opportunities are not increasing employment opportunities are not increasing as per the necessity as per the increasing the number of the people services are not improving that's why the india having as a low per capita income if we use only as a criteria per capita income india lies in a under developed nations but but in present day indian economy is a self sufficient self sufficient government has trying to the eradicating their problems so it should be as a lies under developing when we are talking about the status of a health in our country at the time of independence number of births were the high same as the deaths also these were as a higher but after completion of a 70 years of indian independence then the total number of deaths are controlled due to as a better medical facilities that's why as a for which as you learned in a seventh standard medical tourism remember medical tourism for which as a foreigners coming towards india for the better medical facilities so india it should be as a possess under as a developing when we are talking about the other indicators when we talking about the health education means of growth of the means of a transport sanitation facilities so when we use as a such type of the criteria then india has rise under the developing nations but world bank categorizes india under as a under developed economies under developed economies at the time of independence total 57 percentage of a population which was as under the poverty which is now as decreasing till as the 29 percent 29 percent developed economies having as a per capita income 4 lakh 35500 4 lakh 35500 or more than 4 lakh 35500 to exceed developing economies are those which are possessing as a per capita income 35500 35500 these figures are in rupees 35500 to 4 lakh 35500 these are the developing nations and under developed economies possessing as a per capita income less than 35500 less than 35500 these are as the under developed nations like as india which has which having as a 27000 annual per capita income annual per capita income there are millionaires are there billionaires are there but a large section of a population is there which is still as unable to complete their basic necessities they are not having as a regular jobs they are not having as a regular jobs that's why as a per capita income is a lower how can we calculate a per capita income how can we calculate the per capita income how can we calculate the per capita income yes they are Sir, total income generated over total population. Very good. Total income which has earned, which has generated through the three sectors: primary sector, secondary sector, tertiary sector, divided by the total population. Total population in which the children that age group also comes, which has lies under the below fifteen years, zero to the fifteen years age group and above of sixty years, they are also our assets. They are also included under the. per capita income so total income earned from the three sectors primary sector secondary sector tertiary sector divided by the total population is known as the per capita income per capita income is also known as a average income you are calculating as the mean arithmetic mean in which as a total sorry sum of the observations divided by the total number of observation so total income earned from the three sectors divided by the total population through which we can calculate the per capita income clear is that clear per capita income so these two indicators are used in a relative poverty to distinguish in between of economies second as a national income national income national income means total income which is earned within a economy within a nation within a india with addition to the income earned from abroad income earned from abroad so those individuals which are 
going towards as abroad in a pakistan bangladesh dubai iran canada america in any of a country any of a country for the earning of their livelihood for earning afterwards the earnings they are spending such money on their families which is now as residing in india their families are still residing in india they are spending such money on their families so income earned from a primary secondary tertiary plus income earned from abroad through which we can calculate as a national income through which we can calculate as a national income clear through which we can calculate as national income so on behalf of a per capita income the average income earned by individuals and a national income we can study that particular country is under poverty or not the particular country any of a country it is as the lies under the poverty or not here we are taking as example of a uh, pakistan india and pakistan got the independence in equal time period pakistan uh, independent on a 14th august 1947 india on a 15th august 1947 both the countries independent on a same time period but after completion of a 70 years of the independence pakistan is still dependent on others for the increasing their pace of development to regularize their speed of movement of growth of a growth of economy they are dependent on others they are borrowing as a money earlier they borrowed from the us now as a they are dependent on a china for the economic support but completion of a 70 years india is a self sufficient we are completing our needs we are completing our needs we are neither dependent on others india is a developing nation developing nation when we talking about the per capita income plus status of a health plus education transport in such ways india as the improving comparatively our neighbors as compared to our neighbors we are improving as some of the extent that why that's why we call as a india as a developing nation india is a developing nation the basic drawback of a indian uh, low growth of a indian economy as a population our population is not controlling since last 70 years at the time of independence the india's total population it was near about 35 crores 35 crores in last 70 years 70 years india's total population it it increased as a triplicate three times it increased there is an average as a 40 to 45 years india's total population has a doubles at the time of 47 that total population which was as a 35 crores till 1970s and 80s that it becomes as a 70 crores and in 2001 it crossed the it crossed the 100 crores in 2011 as a 121 crores and the next data that 2021 it is still as not calculated due to as a pandemic situation when it will be as a visualize analyze then it will be as a surely as a more than the 130 crores more than 130 crores clear due to as a high growth of a population our country our country as a still lagging behind country lagging behind otherwise it can as easily achieve their developmental goals clear developmental goals so when economies are study in relation to per capita income and national income is known as relative poverty second now till there any questions any queries related with the relative poverty first type of a poverty relative poverty any questions if anybody having any question they can ask those who want to ask question they have to next is absolute poverty absolute poverty absolute poverty refers to absolute poverty refers to absolute poverty refers to the measuring of poverty to measure poverty poverty keeping in view keeping in view the per capita per capita intake <coughs> 
per capita intake per capita intake of calories and calories and minimum consumption level per capita intake of minimum level of calories consumption minimum level of calories consumption minimum level of calories consumption means a person which has taking the set amount of a calories calories if the set calories are completing in their daily life it means a person is living as a above poverty line in rural areas such calorie consumption is a 2400 calories in rural areas average person desired 2400 calories in a day 2400 calories in a day in urban areas as 2100 calories in urban areas as 2100 calories the difference of a calories is due to the activities in rural economies preferably there are the in rural economies preferably there are the manual work is more compatible with the other work so due to as a laborious work manual work they needs as a more calories consumption more caloric consumption so those people which can complete their such minimum level of a calories consumption they are consider as above poverty otherwise they will consider as a under poverty they will consider as the under poverty clear under poverty they will consider as the under poverty for which as we are following as a two of the methods two methods are there through which we can estimate about as the such calorie differences about the calculation about the absolute poverty and the relative po poverty two methods are there expenditure method and income method till there any questions expenditure method and income method expenditure method and income method any questions expenditure method and income method for a estimation of poverty estimation of poverty we are following as a two of the methodologies one as the expenditure method means total expenditure total expenses which you are spending for your completion of basic needs and income method and income method expenditure method and income method two methods are there through which we can estimate about the poverty trends in a country poverty trends in a country so let's start from the first if you are having as any queries related with the types of a poverty you can ask then we will proceed towards the next methodologies estimation methodologies to which we can estimate about the about the poverty estimate about poverty estimate about poverty okay so the first method expenditure method expenditure methods expenditure method refers to total expenditure or expenses spent by individual spent by an individual for completion of their three their for completion of their three basic necessities food shelter clothing food shelter shelter clothing food shelter clothing it's easy to understand through the example i'm taking as example of ashmit nagpal ashmit nagpal why as a he has used to the 15 chapatis in a day 15 chapatis in a day for completion of their daily need of a food 
15 chapatis plus three glasses of a milk three glasses of milk we can take here as an example 15 chapatis three glasses of milk 250 grams of pulses or either as a vegetables pulses or vegetables if we if we check that the average size of a chapati which has constitutes as 80 calories 80 calories 80 into 15 chapatis 1200 1200 calories completed by the ashmit nagpal directly to the greens directly to the greens then three glasses of a milk every size of a 200 milliliters of a milk glass which has constitutes as a 120 calories 360 calories 120 calories multiply the three glasses of a milk 360 calories 1200 plus 360 1560 calories completed for the ashmit nagpal 250 grams of a pulses or a vegetables which has obtained which has uh, having as a 400 calories for example 400 calories 1500 1560 plus 400 1960 1960 the remaining 140 calories now ashmit has living in a urban area in a jalanda it has used to the fruits also in their daily life fruits around 300 400 grams of fruits used by the ashmit in daily which will be as assume as a 200 200 calories 1920 160 calories it means as a minimum caloric consumption in urban areas desired as a 2100 calories but the ashmit has used as so in that seed in that seed a person which has completing their basic necessities to as their calories different calories first of all we have to identify the number of goods used by the individuals under the expenditure method, first of all, the minimum nutritional food requirements for a individual is estimated. It is estimated. Second, the food value of a such goods are converted into the calories. The food value of a such number of a food items converted into the calories. Third, third, we have to calculate that the in expenditure method, we have to calculate that the caloric value of a food is converted into the money, means the total money which is spending by the individual for purchasing of a such food items. For such food items, purchasing of a such food items, kitna paisa khach kiya usne. Clear? For a purchasing of a such needs which has desired by the that individual. Ashmit required a such calorie consumption for which has total money spending by the Ashmit in their daily. Clear? Daily. We have to calculate as a total money spending by the individual for purchasing of a such material which used by the that individual to complete their needs. To complete their needs. To complete their needs, we have to spare as a side. Second, we have to check that the total number of a uh, total amount of a money which is spending on a availing the services like Ashmit living in a rented apartment, Ashmit which is paying as the pay for the electricity bill, Ashmit pay for the different other services for water. So total expenses on a total expenses on a shelter for the survival what kind of services are availed by the that individual we have to calculate it we have to calculate it and third total expenditure which is spending by the that individual on a clothing items so total expenditure on a three basic necessities food shelter clothing it will be as a added up then to which we can calculate that through which we can calculate that the person as living as under poverty or not. Under poverty or not. Under poverty or not. If a person, if that person has living in a rural areas, in rural economies, 
if a person living in a rural areas which has earning as 328 rupees i'm again repeating as a a person earning as a 328 rupees in rural areas and 424 rupees 424 this is as a older data 24 rupees urban area if the total expenditure which has calculated through the calculated through the calculated through the food items the value of food items expenditure on shelter expenditure on a clothes if it lower than the 424 then the person will consider as a below poverty below poverty when we have to as a estimate about the expenses on a services then we have to check that the total number of a family members because that apartment rent, rented apartment used by not only as a ashmit their family members are also so total expenditure on a that rented apartment it will be as a divided among the all those number of individuals which are in their family 3 4 5 6. so whatever the some individuals are there which are completing which so which are taking as a more number of a calories more number of a calories in their daily life so to check that their health status for which we are using as a criteria bmi body mass index we use the criteria as a bmi body mass index to check the health status of an individual whether a person is a healthy or not whether a person is healthy or not for which we use the criteria body b o d y body mass index body mass index how can we calculate we have to calculate our height the height of the individual in meters height in meters height in meters whatever the height of the individual which we have, which we generally as a calculate in a feet inches we have to convert it into the meters clear afterwards total weight of a individual it should be as a converted into a kgs kilograms kilograms height divided by the square of a height divided by the square of a weight to which we can calculate as a bmi to which we can calculate as the bmi if your answer if your answer is a less than the 18 percent means a that particular individual is undernourished that individual is a undernourished if it exceed than the 25 <coughs> if your figure comes as a more than the 25 then a person is a overweight overweight which has taking as a more more calories as per their needs this is as a way to which we can check as a health status of an individual health status of an individual clear so this much for today any questions any questions for example we can calculate as a bmi of a jyotin deep singh jyotin deep singh one his height it will be as a assume as 1.4 meters divided by the weight of a jyotin deep as a 45 square of a 45 then what will be the answer what will be the answer yes weight 45 square of 45 square of 45 yes what will be the answer weight it should be in a kgs kilograms you can calculate your body mass index through this system clear so in economy the health of individuals is a more important because why because to as a health status health status of an individuals through which we can check that we can check that the economic standards of a economy sorry economic standards of a that particular country those economies those economies where the such type of such type of a 
poverty unemployment are existing generally as a population it it is as the deprived in standards so that's what we will discuss on next class as income method